Hey ladies, do you own a small business or did you start freelancing? If so, you want to hear this, especially with a tax deadline coming soon. You know, in a perfect world, you'd be thinking about tax prep year round, you know, keeping your records organized to help ease your burden mentally and financially come tax time. And if you started a side hustle or turned to freelancing full time, you need to hear this because every dollar you earn is taxable. Yes, even if you just made less than $600. Because that's because the IRS considers you a small business. And guess what? Small business owners need to pay income taxes and self-employment taxes. Because when you work a W-2 job, your employer automatically withholds these taxes. Now, let me be clear, I am not a CPA, but I have my own LLC for my anesthesia practice, and my hubby and I own two corporations for our mortgage and real estate business. So we have a little bit of personal experience in dealing with business taxes. So let's discuss some tax prep basics, shall we? Number one, know your deadlines. Now tax filing, tax filing deadlines vary depending on your business entity type. This year, for example, the deadline for corporations was March 15th, but personal taxes and sole proprietors, theirs are due April 18th. Other tax deadlines include estimated tax payments, which are due quarterly, payroll taxes, which are deposited usually monthly or semi-weekly. Number two is make sure you gather your financial records. Pull together your records before starting your taxes. This includes payroll documents, income statements, depreciation schedules, bank and credit card statements, and those receipts for those large purchases. Because you'll need this information to complete your business tax returns. Number three, make sure you complete proper tax forms. Prepare the proper tax forms to report any business income law or loss, any legitimate deductions or taxes. These forms will be filed along with, in addition to the 1040 form. And common tax forms that you should be aware of are Schedule C, which report profit and loss for sole proprietors, uh, forms 1120 or 1120S, which report um, gains, income, deductions, and credits for corporations. And there's a Schedule K-1, which reports business expenses, income and losses for partnerships. So you may also need to file specific forms for things such as depreciation, home-based business, self-employment taxes, and any other estimated taxes. And number four, make sure you lean on a tax professional. Now, if your business model is straightforward and your records are organized, good for you. You may not need the help of a tax professional. But if you're just starting out or your business has changed, then they can help you identify deductions, determine the best structure for your business, and hopefully head off any future tax headaches. Most importantly, they can make sure you don't pay too much or too little. That's it for today on this Woven Words Wednesday. Hopefully you entrepreneurs found this information helpful. If so, please like and comment below. If you need recommendations for a great CPA or financial advisor, please reach out and we can help. Also, this month, Woven will be sharing more business finance tips for you. So if you or anyone you know needs some help with that, please make sure that they follow us on our social media at Woven San Diego to find out more. Until next time, Keep your financial house in order, my friends. Take care.